it's priceless that somebody believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. In his situation, most kids end up dead or in jail. Sheldon Anderson called the streets of Lynchburg home for more than a year. And my legal troubles are really what pushed me and fell in arms. Two weeks ago, Anderson shared his story with the producers of the Oprah Winfrey Network. The cops was running behind me. I remember as clear as day. So he called us up and said, I'm just sick of my life. I'm sick of running from the police. I'm, I'm sick of this. I need help. Anderson says he found a safe refuge with adults at the Jubilee Center and eventually traded his street life for the halls of the University of Virginia. Part of me being at UVA was having a dream. To come from that environment and exist in this environment, it, it really is truly a blessing. The Jubilee Center opened in 1999. The next year, executive director Sterling Wilder met Oprah in person. One of the producers from the, the old show remembered us and mentioned it to the new producers of the new show, the, of the next chapter. Where the 92nd piece, Spotlighting Wilder and Anderson, aired last Wednesday. So we're really um, proud of Shadow. They can really be like, he made it. No matter where he made it to, he made it out. And regardless of your background, regardless of where you come from, you can still achieve. In Lynchburg, Melinda Zosh, ABC 13 News.